What's up guys? I'm Hype. I'm the owner of Shot by Hype, the YouTube channel, and today I'll be going over what's in my camera bag and also what's in my bat bag. So I've had a few guys ask and request for this video to show you what kind of equipment I work with in my bat bag as well as equipment I use in my camera bag. Um, so, thought I'd show you guys. So let's start off with my bat bag. I have one bat that does not fit. Uh, Sam bat. Uh, this is the Barry Bonds model. It is a 33 inch uh, 30. Great bat. Um, traditional knob. All around great bat. Not my type of style, but they sent me this for free. So, hey, I'll use it. Next model from Sambat is the Luke Voigt model, also a 3330. Now this is my favorite bat that they sent me. Uh, the reason I like it is the flare bell knob. Uh, it's one of my favorite type of knobs to hit with. Uh, you'll see a lot of my bats, uh, they'll have extra padding on them to kind of make it flared out. Uh, this is a great bat, sounds great, awesome bat, hits pretty, pretty well. Um, once again, one of my favorite bats to hit with. Next bat is my custom jaw bat. Has the uh, Shot by Hype logo on it. It is a 34-31. Wanted it to be a little heavier. Uh, I just wanted to try out swinging in a heavier bat. I kind of now use it as like a trainer bat, kind of warm up bat. Uh, once again, great bat. This was hand turned. He sent me the video of him hand turning it, painting it, everything. Great guy. You must check out Jaw Bats. If you want a custom bat, like this is, this is the bat to get. It's uh, super awesome. Great guy who runs jaw bats also. Uh, got it in our logo colors, which is gray, teal, and black. Um, sounds great, awesome to swing, just a really solid bat. Then my last bat is another custom. This one was by Mastac Bats. If you saw the video where I toured their whole facility, we made this exact bat and gave it away to uh, someone who was following me and them on Instagram. Once again, have Shot by Hype logo. This is the MT1, 33 inch 30. Great bat, super solid. Um, haven't been able to swing it yet, uh, just haven't had time, but definitely going to be swinging it soon. Uh, got a custom paint job done, matte handle, uh, shiny black with uh, gray splatters on it, super, super nice. Um, great guys over there, make sure to check them out. I'll put everybody's link down in the description, but definitely check out them. Great prices, great bats. Really hard to break these. I've talked to a bunch of guys in my area who swing these. Super solid bats. I'll get into my bag a little bit. Uh, this is a Velo T bag. Um, so this bag turns into a hitting tee. It also holds gloves, whatever you need. Uh, it's a backpack. You can also hang it up on the fence. 
super great bag. Uh, they sent me this. We did a giveaway a few months ago. I can't remember if it was on Instagram or uh, YouTube, but super great bag. Uh, the lid comes off and it's actually a base that you can put on the ground. And then there's three slots that you can put the uh, tea in. Super quality stuff. Uh, I've hit this thing a bajillion times. Does not break, doesn't even look like it's war. Um, stays in place. Super great bag. Definitely check them out in the description. Uh, I think I have a code down there, maybe get you 10% off. All right, so next up, cleats. Uh, wear a size 11 and a half. These are just uh, molded cleats. Uh, don't really like the sound of metal cleats. I know that might sound weird. Uh, so I do moldeds. I don't like the scratchiness of it when you're walking on concrete or whatever it is. Jordan 1s, low top, super dirty. Uh, so I usually, when I'm hitting, I'm usually hitting indoors, don't really hit on fields much. Uh, would like to uh, hit more, but usually hit indoors. So I don't usually wear these. What I usually wear these for is when I'm filming guys in the outfield, infield and I have my camera on a gimbal which you'll see later and I'm running around with them so I don't slip with my regular shoes. I'm usually wearing like Adidas Boost something or others. So uh, not the best shoes to run in with guys uh, practicing defensive drills. So I'll throw these on, follow them around so I don't slip and fall. I've done that once. It was a terrible mistake. So Let's do outside of the bag. This little bag here just holds, I think just my gloves, yeah. So I have two pair, uh, both of them are Nike. I think these are just the, you know, normal cheapo Nike gloves. I think I got them at Dick's for like 18 bucks or 16 bucks. Um, I wore these a lot. One thing I don't really like about Nike gloves is they're super thin, um, which causes a lot of blisters in my hands. Uh, my hands sweat a lot, so not the greatest. I would like to try some Franklins. Once again, I don't hit much, but when I do, I don't wanna get blisters on my hands. Uh, next pair, uh, I think these are the Mike Trout's uh, gloves. I could be wrong on that, I actually, don't know. I believe I found these at Marshall's or Ross for like six bucks. Uh, super cool gloves. Once again, super thin. Um, I've only wore these a couple times. Didn't get any blisters, but I think I was only hitting for a promo shoot for one of the bats. So didn't really get to put in a lot of work with them, but cool gloves. Love Nike stuff, but once again, super thin, but if you're used to getting blisters or you know a certain way to wear these to where you don't get blisters, these are cheap, great to go with. So I only have two things in this bag, one of it being my glove. Uh, this is a Rawlings uh, GG Elite. It is a 12 and 3 fourths inch. Um, I had some like cheapo Wilson glove for a while uh, I don't really use a glove often, other than sometimes when I'm filming one-on-one -on -one with a guy and they don't bring enough guys to uh, warm up with, I'll put the camera down, warm up with them. I can't really throw very far, I have a noodle for an arm. But cool thing about this glove is I bought it on Facebook Marketplace. A lady bought it for her son. Uh, glove was too big for her kid. I think her kid was like seven or eight. Uh, so she bought the wrong glove, couldn't return it. So I picked up this, I think these gloves go for 120 bucks, 115 bucks at Dick's. And I picked it up for 40 bucks shipped. So super great glove to pick up for 40 bucks. Um, definitely check out your local stores like Played Against Sports, always doing great deals. Also Facebook Marketplace for great deals like this. Last thing I have in my baseball bag is, of course, about 400 baseballs. Um, I practice with a couple guys uh, that I hit with, or I bring this so 
when guys that I film with sometimes will only have like 20 balls. I don't like to pick a lot. I usually help the guys pick up balls. So I usually bring mine out. These are um, minor league baseballs from high class uh, from the Winston-Salem Dash when they were the Carolina League. Last year they switched over league names so they had to get rid of a bunch of balls. So uh, me and uh, one of the clubbies are really good friends and I asked him to save I don't know, like 100 balls for me, and I dropped it by one day, picked them all up. They were all used, but still in great condition. Um, I think maybe like one or two had a rip in them. But like I said, great balls to hit with. They're professional baseballs, so they're great. So that is what's in my bat bag. Let's move on to my camera bag. So first thing I have in my camera bag is my Sony 70 to 200 2.8 G Master lens. This lens costs like as much as my car. Um, I usually only shoot photos with it. Not really a great filming camera unless I'm doing football. Um, sometimes I'll take it out if I'm like in a dugout shooting guys in the outfield, but pretty much just use this for photos. Um, probably my favorite lens I've ever had. Shoots amazing quality photos. Most of the time, if you follow me on Instagram, most of the time the, camera, the photos are taken with this lens. So, super great lens. The camera that I shoot with is a Sony A7 III. Um, just got this recently, picked it up once again on Facebook Marketplace uh, from a guy who bought it for graduation photos and didn't use it anymore. So I picked it up for super cheap. Uh, it's got a 50 millimeter lens on it. Uh, also, another lens that I use quite a bit um, to do close up. Uh, if you see like face photos, like portrait type style photos, usually taking it with this. Uh, great camera, super fast. Don't have to worry about much when uh, focusing. It focuses super quick. So, great camera, super expensive. Camera stuff is an extremely expensive hobby. Uh, the next lens I have is this 18 to 105 lens. This is usually on the camera that's filming me right now, which you'll see later. Um, I have a smaller lens so that I can get a wider uh, view. This is what I shoot every YouTube video with. So every, every video you watch is usually with this lens right here. Uh, great lens for anyone starting out. Pretty relatively cheap. Uh, for what it is if you have a Sony camera. Next up, power packs. I usually have these plugged up into my pocket here, and then I have them going to the screen and my camera, so I'm not switching out batteries constantly. These are also solar, so when one runs out, I just throw it in the sun whenever we're filming out of field. It does great. Next thing I have in my bag is these wireless mics. Don't use them too much. Um, they're really cheap, um, but I just wanted to try it out when I did a mic'd up series when I worked for the White Sox. Um, I mic'd up Steel Walker, who is now currently with the Texas Rangers, I believe, in AAA. Um, I'll link the video somewhere up here. Uh, next up, this is the gimbal camera that I have. It is a DJI Pocket 2, and it's on a gimbal, so when you turn it on, it does some crazy stuff. And then I can walk around with it, super smooth. This is what I use in the outfield, or when I'm doing uh, short stops. Great camera to run around with, super smooth. Camera quality is pretty great, not as good as what I have there, but also that camera is super expensive. This camera is only 350 bucks. Great camera if you're starting out vlogging, if you wanna do your own filming. This is a super great camera to start out with. Next thing I have in here is just a flash. Don't use it much. Every once in a while I'll bring it out to do certain type of photos. Um, that's really it for my camera bag. I'll show you this camera next. All right, so now we are on the DJI Pocket 2, and this is the camera that has been filming the entire video. This is my Sony A6500. I just put back on the uh, 18 to 105 lens. Uh, I have the small rig gear, so I can plug in uh, my monitor, microphone, 
Sometimes I'll put my light here if it's uh, I'm filming in the dark. I have a Feel World 4K monitor um, and then a Rode Pro mic. So this is the setup that I use literally every day. Um, every video that you see is filmed with this. Great camera, battery runs low all the time, so that's why I have those power packs. But other than that, um, great camera. I do feel like I'm gonna upgrade sometime soon in the future, just when the channel grows, I'll get more equipment, uh, better stuff. So <laughs> that's what's in my baseball bag, as well as my camera bag. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe. Thanks.